information on that, you can call Doug at Insight at 778-918-7534. And everybody's going to enjoy some good food and some great sports entertainment. And it's just going to be a hell of a weekend. Um, really excited to uh, have the opportunity to even talk about that. Because anything I can do for these guys, I'm in. Anything they can use, any way that they can use me, I am absolutely in. I am all theirs. Cool story, bro. Because uh, what they do for us at our city is absolutely incredible. I don't know how they do it. I definitely don't know that I have the uh, the cockles, if you will, to uh, take on such an undertaking and do it with a good attitude every night, which is really, really neat to see. Um, so my hat goes off to them, and I will definitely be putting my stick in this tournament and... Uh, been a lot of years since I played street hockey. I used to play uh, every week. I even played in a league briefly and uh, did terribly. Really, really bad. True story. It got around the league. And the opposing team, every week that we played, we played on Sundays. And every Sunday, the opposing team would put up a six-pack of beer if I could score a goal. And I did eventually. I think I did score one that season. One. The whole season. One goal. My name is Jeff. Yeah, that's right. Boys have a penis. Girls have a vagina. Yeah, yeah, I can't play hockey. I don't care. I don't need to play hockey anymore. I've got a podcast, all right? I bet good hockey players can't podcast. That's probably not true at all. They'd probably be a lot better than me. Now I'm sad. I'm going to play a song. Uh, we will be back in 10 seconds here. No, we won't. Back in a couple of minutes to wrap this up. Um, got a cool topic I want to end on. Oh, I think it's cool anyway. And You might. You might not. If you don't, call in and let me know. Be a part of the show. Be a part of the entertainment. If I'm not entertaining you enough, then it's your job to call in and make yourself part of the entertainment. Speak out about the way I live, but it's a 24 karat dream. No supermodel in my dirty jeans, but in my 24 inches heels. I am not pretending, I'm born like this, a game for the reckless. It's so extreme, and I don't really care. I Calling me a mad woman, mad woman No, I don't really care, I don't really care, yeah Cause boy, it's none of your business If I'm a mad woman brought to my attention on more than one occasion that some of what I say on Is It Just Me is not politically correct. And allow me to be the first to say, um, first of all, good. And second of all, it's not going to change. So yay for me. And I don't care. And shut up. Um, I don't believe in it. I don't buy in it. I think it's gone way overboard. Uh, This story uh, about a month ago where kids in school were told that they can't call anyone a best friend because they're alienating other students. Are you kidding me? Is it just me or has this thing gone so far off the deep end that there's just no way to claw it back? It's such a stupid thing. And especially in a city like Vancouver. Vancouver is the apotheosis of a multicultural city. 
Um, you will never find a more diverse city, and we're not a melting pot. We're not. We're a mosaic. We don't. We're not trying to blend everyone together in some homogenous vanilla type race. We celebrate each other's cultural identity, which political correctness, which is neither political nor correct, not only does it insult the intelligence of everyone, it also strips everyone of their cultural identity, which is just absolutely infantile in my mind. Just ridiculous, you know? It's this notion of this watered-down vanilla lexicon that, by design, is just wrong. And the only people who pay attention to it are clearly these North American, Caucasian, Anglo Christians. Um, because I was having a great conversation with a European man on the train yesterday morning who just didn't get the concept. He couldn't grasp it. He, he, could, he said it sounded silly. He said, you know, they, they mock us for it in other places because they don't do it. Um, what I found was he was having a conversation with a colleague of his, and he kept saying what? He, it was very hard to hear. It's a very loud train, the Canada Line. It runs underground. It's very noisy. It's very, also very fast and, and uh, quite convenient, but noisy. Anyway, he kept saying what? To You know, the, he couldn't hear his companion. So I got up, and I... I introduced myself and I asked, is it okay in Europe to say what? Because here, as you know, you can't say what. You, nobody says that. It's insulting. It's rude. You say, pardon me. Um, but he kind of laughed at that. He said, no, it's the same thing. What? Pardon me. It's all the same. It's, it's what you say. What's much shorter? It's a, it helps the conversation move along faster. And it's silly to have to stop and think before you say what. What is not an insult? What is just... What? It is what it is. Um, very interesting to me. And I've noticed that with a lot of the different cultures here in our wonderful, amazing city of Vancouver. That um, they're not on this political correctness train. Uh, especially around Christmas time. Which I absolutely love. Because... Uh, you're not supposed to say Merry Christmas, obviously, because you could offend somebody with such a bold and easily to misunderstand statement that new Canadians might not know what your intentions are when you say something as horrible to them as Merry Christmas. So we have to say season's greetings, and even that might be misconstrued as being offensive. Ridiculous. And man, did I gain a lot of respect for the bus drivers and, and the, the union that represents them who decided, no, we're putting Merry Christmas on our signs. And, man, did I applaud that move. It was fantastic. And you know who else did? A whole bunch of people in the city who don't celebrate Christmas. Uh, everyone thought it was ridiculous. You know, these people, a lot of these people come here to celebrate our traditions and to get to know our customs and our ways and they want to say Merry Christmas and they want to be a part of that and to take that away from them it's it's really not fair and nobody's asking anyone else's opinion before we go ahead and do this shit you know what I mean? My name is Jeff Like, what gives North American wasps the right to decide what words are acceptable when we offer each other holiday tidings, you know, it's, it's, it's not our position. And, you know, where the hell do white North American Anglo Christians get off telling every other group of people on the planet what they should call themselves? It's not our place to tell people what they should call themselves. It's up to them to decide what they should like to be called, isn't it? Or maybe it's not even a conversation at all. My name is Jeff. Maybe we just call each other what we are. Oh, what a novel idea that is. Let's just be honest and call each other what we are and see how that works for a change. <gasps> Honesty. Cool story, bro. Doesn't exist as much as it should anymore. And yes, I do say things, and it's not a radio thing. It's a Eric thing. I say things that aren't politically correct. And I say things that people don't want to hear. I say things that are true, and that's what I'm going to be known for. People are going to say one day, that Eric was an asshole, but he never lied about stuff. He always 
told it like it was. And that's what I do. I don't know where I get that from. I don't think it's from my parents. It's just from a set of values that I've developed over 40 years of looking out at people and not understanding 99% of them. Because I don't get how being dishonest with each other is better and denying each other our, our being, our essence, by trying to, uh, trying to not offend someone and in the process we're being more offensive than we could possibly be. Because we're not giving them the chance to celebrate who they are and to teach us something for a change. We're so high and mighty, like we know everything and, and we have to coddle these poor, unfortunate people who come here and just need our help. No, they're adult people just like us. They're not idiots. They're not invalids. We got to quit treating them like that. And that's why in the rest of the world, they're laughing at us for looking stupid, looking like kindergarten teachers. I'm going to keep going on this and I can't wait to hear what Gord has to say about this because this was his topic when he first started on this show and he had a great point and you guys didn't get to hear it because the mobile studio was not operational at the time. But if we can get Gord back on and he can uh, tell you his perspective on this, is very interesting, very eloquent and um, we're going to keep going with this subject quite a bit. Uh, we're going to be revisiting a lot and getting Gord's perspective on it and hearing what the eastern half of Canada thinks about all the crap I say. And if anyone out there wants to comment on it, again, maybe it's me42 at gmail.com or you can call in 604-655-9630. Just be sure when you leave a message to specify if you do not want your message played on the air. Because if you don't specify, it's going out on the show. You will be heard. So let me know. Just do it! Hey! 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 It, everybody, another half hour in the bag. That went really fast tonight. That was a lot of fun. Um, hopefully tomorrow night, Tim Price, and hopefully tomorrow, Gord joins us to say hi and uh, tell you how things are working out for him in Ontario. Um, I will be back to talk more about my friends over at Insight, and uh, we're going to talk to you about... Uh, some really good work going on down at the First United Church on Hastings Street. Uh, we're going to talk to a man named Patrick Longfellow who's doing awesome things for this neighborhood who needs all the help they can get. Um, so, that's all tomorrow. Very exciting. And uh, I will be back right then in roughly 23 hours. Until then, get a hold of Doug down at Insight, 778-918-7534 and sign up your hockey team for the uh, June 16th tournament, Hockey and a Barbecue. And uh, in the meantime, take care of each other. Stand up! Stand up!